Welcome. Good morning, I should say. Uh, April 4th. No, May 4th. May 4th. That's right. May 4th. Welcome to May 4th. Um, <clears throat> obviously, this is the Frazzle, and I'm a little tired. No, I'm not. I'm fucking live, bitch. No, I'm actually bringing you guys another product review. Now, if you guys are interested in these products, you can follow me on Twitter, hashtag Frazzleberry. No, I don't care, man. I do have a Twitter if you guys are interested. I don't post much, but... It's there. Yeah. No, actually, I update my uh, Facebook page a lot more. So if you're, on, if you're on Facebook, make sure you go like the uh, Frazzleberry page. I think it's like... Um, if, well, if you search Frazzleberry, you'll find it. But if you type in uh, Facebook.com slash YT Frazzleberry for YouTube Frazzleberry, you'll find me that way. Um, but hey, it's always out there. But no, I am I am bringing a new thing. I'm pretty new, like I said, to the monster lineup. And this is the uh, Zero Ultra Energy. White can. Brand spanking new, I think. I don't know if it's new or not, but it's new to me. And yo, oh my god. The first thing that's very apparent with this can, you may not see it on video, but... It's got like these metal, like... Just this very tactile, like... Metally scrapey feel to it, like it's so textured. It's weird. It's like this ivory design. That it's just it's, it pops, you know. Feels really nice. But it's a white can, man. That looks nice. I don't know. All right. Now the main gimmick of this. Monster, I guess you could say. Zero sugar, zero calories, zero sh sugar, zero calories, zero sugar, zero calories. Yeah. Um, no. Calorie zero. Total fat zero. Sodium, 180 milligrams. Carb, one carb. Uh, zero sugar, one G of erythritol. What the fuck? Erythritol? I don't even know how to pronounce that word. One gram of that. Um... And then you've got your your vitamins or whatever in there. But now you may be wondering, how is the flavor for Frazzleberry? Frazzleberry. How is the flavor? That's when I say It's not bad. It's not bad. <coughs> now I have not tasted the original monster, so I can't comment on how this one or the uh, low carb version compare to that. But it tastes like a really cool fruit beverage. Carbonation isn't quite as strong, but it still fizzes the shit out of you. Um, so what? I don't know how I would, what, what would I rate this thing. Hmm. I'm gonna probably have to take another can or two to, to give it a full, comprehensive, you know, look at. But as it stands, considering it has barely anything in there, and it still tastes virtually the same. I mean, honestly, it's not even as strong, I think, as the uh, low-carb version. That one kind of leaves this weird aftertaste in my throat. This is just kind of... It has a... I don't want... I want to say a lime, maybe, you know? It kind of has, like, a lime taste to it. it smells great, too, by the way. Ooh. Um, But, you know, I, I drank one of the low-carb ones last night, and... I don't know, it just it left this weird taste in my mouth. Not a bad taste, just different. Um, I want to make that clear, okay? Because I do think that is a pretty good product. The question is, would I rather go with this or the blue one? I don't know. I'm probably honestly just going to go with this one just because, it, like I said, zero pretty much everything in there. That's pretty good. Um, no, I'm not like some kind of um, dietitian or something. Who knows all the fucking... The nutrition facts, what it means, and all that hoobla blooba. But for a 16 ounce can, I think it was like a dollar fifty. I'm not complaining. It's better than a fucking 12 ounce soda bottle for two dollars. Fuck that. Fuck soda. Period. Yo, if you drink soda, I really want you to consider stopping. Please, please do not 
support soda companies. They are evil. All they do is take your money and kill the little children. There's actually a rumor that they, um, they're the reason rapists exist, believe it or not. Um, I've seen a world without soda, and it's a good thing. So, next time you're sitting there with your little Coca-Cola, just remember, there's a kid out there getting raped. Alright. Um, another update also on Magna Carta 2. I'm now on hour 5, and uh, my main character got an outfit change. Uh, I just learned we've got skill tree in there now. We've got uh, each character has two different weapon types that drastically play different, it seems like. Main character has like one hand sword, two hand sword. Girl has a fan or a rod. Fire mage has a uh, fist or fireballs. Um, and then the big guy has an axe or a hammer. <clears throat> it's pretty cool that it's starting to change up a bit, but. I'll get back to you on more on that. Woo!